This is Street Culture TV. Maybe I'm foolish and maybe I'm blind Thinking I can see through this and see what's behind and see what's behind Cause I'm only human off the road I'm only human off the road Don't put the blame on me Don't put the blame on me Some people got the real problems Some people out of love some people think I can solve them. Lord, heaven's above, but I'm only human after all. Human after all. Don't put your blame on me. Don't put your blame on me. Tele Entertainment presents your new official Ice T phone line. This is Ice T, and I'm just cooling out waiting on you to call me on the Ice Hotline. Here's your chance to connect to Ice T. Call 1 900 909 1100. Push that button, dial it now. Come on, call me up and chill out with me on the phone for a few minutes. $2 the first minute, 45 cents each extra minute. Be sure to ask your parents' permission. It's Dev, the new Ice T phone line. Yo, make that call. 1 900 909 1100. Ice T is waiting now. Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's me, Sir Swifty, Street Culture TV, representing Chief Rocker Squad of Flawless Force. I am here in Rotterdam for the Red Bull BC1 Netherlands final. We're about to see the best of the best go off, the best of the B-Boys and the best of the B-Girls. We've got Olympians and world champions, top-notch DJs and classic MCs. So come with me and let's go check it out. Red Bull, let's go. Come on. Red Bull BC1, I'm here with the winner of the Rebel BC1 Holland side for 2024. And you know what the funny thing is? This guy's been here before. Shinshan, you sat out there like anybody that slips on you. Is that the what gave you fuel? All these people that maybe doubted you with your ability? I mean, as well, but also like the people that do believe in me. Like the people that I train with, the people that I hang with, and I believe like the people that sleep on you, they give you rest as well. You know, you can work, you can chill. That like the night is my 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 space. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, let them sleep. They will wake up by the noise you make. You know what I'm saying? They're about to get woken up now when you go to Rio de Janeiro, right? I'm here with the Bigo winner of the Holland Red Bull BC1 Cypher, right? I'm not even going to ask how you feel because I know how you feel. But tell me, how many times have you tried to get to this stage? Uh, so, first time I participated when there was no Bigo Cypher yet. So, I was in the lineup with the B-Boys. First okay. round, I was out. Then, the Bigo Cypher, there was in the semis. Second time, I went again to the semis. Again, yes. And then one time in the finals, I lost. So that hard work is just literally paid off right now, and now you're going <laughs> to the world final. Yes. The ladies love him. I hosted with him at an event called Freedom City, and it's in the city of Utrecht. Ooh. Ooh. Fifty. First of all, you did an amazing job. Every time I host with this guy, it's amazing. This time I was in a different role, so I was just watching you. Okay. And uh, first of all, you did an amazing job because you got the crowd so hyped today. And I think this is one of the best uh, Holland ciphers that I've ever witnessed. When we talk about history, yeah, me and my friend, we go back in a collaborative way. This is a man of collaboration. The man like DJ Vadim or Benny Page, uh, drum and bass right there across the board. <coughs> the lovers in you, Naraga, and more. The vocalist, 
the lyricist a North London representative. The man that should be in pictures but isn't, and we'll get more into that. <laughs> Demolition Man. <laughs> <laughs> I got to tour with Bounty Killer, Lady Patra, Round Head and Ninja Kid. What, what it was, my dad's friend was the A&R for Lady Patra. My dad's friend, Byron Jr. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So how, he, oh, and wow. you know what he did? He was, Byron used to come down from New York and link my dad. And Byron had his, his house in, in Hartford, Connecticut, mm -hmm. but he used to work at the office with okay. specialists okay. who was Shabaranks' manager. That's mad. Specialist. And he was Patra's manager. And he was the one that was running that whole thing, specialist. And Banky, oh, yeah, dude, you were just walked into an opportunity. So to dive. Well, I didn't know I was walking. In. I just knew this guy Byron, who was my dad's friend, and he heard I could do music. But guess what he did? He called me from the office when he was with Banky and them. Didn't tell me. Put me on loudspeaker, loud and he goes, "Yo, give me your lyrics now." <laughs> on the yeah, phone. on the phone. Yeah, he goes, yo, I'm just there in the office. I mean, I talk about you. Give me some, give me your lyrics. I gave him three lyrics. I gave him a sing J style, a sing song, and then a fast tongue DJ thing. Yo. And then the next day, my dad goes, the yo. The third one, they miss, you must have nailed it in the bag. And then my dad said to me, yo, you know what Byron did to you? I was like, what? He goes, you know, you was on the speakerphone and Banky and everything. Then they, no. they put you on that show. I was like, which show? He said the Bounty Killer and things. So I was like, That's don't lie. Crazy. And that was the first time Bounty Killer came to America. <laughs> Yes, guys, we are here at Kensal Rise Paradise for another month of Street Culture TV. Who's excited? Really gassed for the vibe tonight. We've got the likes of Killer Keller as always. We've got Vixie Amma, Menace, myself, DJ Mills, Shorty Blitz, the Fly Hooligan, Halfway our amazing Macron convention where you've got the graffiti artists, they're showcasing their art and it's amazing. I'm here with Hooch, tell the people who you are and what you're doing tonight. DJ Hooch, organised with the B-Boy Championships and uh, heading up for the GP for the Olympics. There's some sick dancers coming down and they're going to be getting down for some cash prizes and some cheap art gear. Don't forget to get down to the next one. Uh, 
Osaka. Midori. Ao. Gunjo Iro. Kyudei. Imagine を刺激するカラーハイファイ。DDK ビデオテープ。Yes, people, Spat vs. Dice, the only graph battle that counts. Gift Day M,、uh, we're in Waterloo, Leak Street, and water being the right word. It is raining out there. Jordan Grant, how are you feeling, brother? Hey,、right, Groundhog Dayed out, mate. Seriously, back in the same <laughs> spot. <laughs> No, hopefully, this will be the last of the wet ones before we move on to the summer games. Hell yeah. Anyway, several constants that apply the rain, but also the rules 12 cans of paint, same colors for each player, a selection of scrap paint, and again, only three hours to do it in. And they are ready to roll. Spat on the left and dice on the right. The crowd is building, as always, in Leak Street. And the Warriors enter the zone. Right. Here we go. Daps and ready. Here we are. Whoa,、so. he's rocking a bottom line to start with already? <laughs> What is this? Okay, no, let's see. What's he planning? Go dice. Ah, all right, sketching out approach. He wants to get his proportions right. I ain't seen、seems. that before. Look, <laughs> Spat ain't Spat seen it. Spat is thinking, I haven't seen that in a while. <laughs> Good、oh, on him. Anyway,、yeah. dice quickly off the blocks, getting up, pinning up his first few letters. Looking good. Looking like he's possibly heading for typical style, but we'll see what plays out by the end. And here is Spat. When we talk about typical style, I mean, yo, he's diversifying with every, every month. Well, every he's going to have to. He's been in for quite a few now. He's going to have to keep his audience on his toes.、Mm. Um, let's see what he's got in store for this time. Last time he set the wall on fire with his burning wood piece. Wow. <laughs> and that was crazy. That got him through to this next round. And this is the last. Wait, if he wins this, he's well ahead on the leaderboard. So, yeah, the bang. Crowd awaiting blood. <laughs> <laughs> and it doesn't deter them at all. Look, although I will say this the water coming from the top of the roof there into the mulch isn't helping poor Dyson. Yeah,、out. that's definitely another thing they've got to contend with, and our audience have to be observant of as well when making your judgment. All these little details count, don't they? Yeah. Which, which reminds me actually, the clips and everything that's coming off of Dyson's piece is looking great. And see, spat now. This is one thing that our. <laughs> what? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Charlie. Man, like Charlie Chaplin just rolling through the block. Go on. <laughs> Legend in the place. Wow. He didn't even look at their pieces, man.、Oh. But yeah, one thing our audience, maybe the lesser trodden of them, should notice is that, you know, lots of these artists, when you see the final result, you may think, oh, you know, it's. The same. No.、Mm. Pay more attention to when they're pinning up at the beginning. Spat's going in with something totally different letter wise this way. That's right.、Um, yeah, he's going to have to keep this up if he's going to stick on with his long run. 100%. And he's throwing that fill、mm. in. He's throwing it、quickly. out. Full panel fills. Go on.、Yeah, Dice is still taking his time on all those clips. But working、clips. out his 3Ds and everything. So hopefully it's a case of him just throwing the paint on once he gets through that. Yeah, that's right. Tell us what you're thinking, people, in the comments. Don't forget, it's your battle. You tell us who should be winning and what your thoughts are at this point in the game, you know?、Mm. I want to see Dice. Is he picking a beer? <laughs> Which beer is on choice? Looks like only Stella, mate. <laughs> I don't think he's struggling for colours. I, I think he's deciding which to go. No,、first. we need to get him a bit quicker. Spat's already just casually taking his time working through his piece. Oh, okay, there we go. We've got some solid fills. But that yellow, I yeah, don't know. Man. So many brands just can't figure it out, man. That's right. He's gone for the. Strongest color for the center, and he's working his way around the outside with more pastel colors. He's back getting his digis in already. I love that chalky red. Yeah, it's looking good, isn't it? Good look. Good、yeah. look. Look, obviously, the, the mulch helps bang those colors out really nicely. Yeah,、well. I just feel like it might already be sitting on a wet wall. This could cause problems along the line. Let's watch out for drips, eh? Definitely. definitely. <laughs> Drip watch. <laughs> Hey, already going in. <laughs> yes, already going in on his 3D. Yeah. That's positive to see. Dice really actually keeping up the momentum now. Dude, it's almost like 0 to 100. He's yeah, like he's, straight he's in. He's decided the pressure is on for sure. Yeah. Yeah, it's bad. <laughs> there we go. Some more action right there from Spat. Hey, Spat's just showing how well trodden in these battles he is. Look how comfortable and calm he's rolling. He does. Look like he's、yeah. got stress in the world right now. Doesn't it? It feels like he's very much、uh, in control of his piece. Like, no, last time he was really experimental, wasn't he? Yeah, massively. Massively, and it turned out to be for the win.、Mm. Love lots of the comments coming in. Yeah, a lot of people couldn't believe the fact that he just, you know, spontaneously came up with such a concept. Yeah, definitely. Two champions rolling that day.、Yeah. Strong one. Dice's,、uh, yeah, Dice's、uh, main outline there is looking. Bang, super sharp. Yeah, he's gone in with a, a, you know, if anyone wants to refer back to the Ames spat battle that was、mm. going on, you know, he's dropping different letters and different color fills per, per letter. Yeah, the cutbacks、um, and everything. Let's、oh, see. Oh, yeah, yeah nice clean cutbacks going on now. 
But let's see how he pulls that together so that C doesn't actually stand out like a sore thumb. That, yeah, that's, an, that's, that's a good point. Oh, hey, crew in house, go go on. On. Come on, Oi, no names. <laughs> Come on, yours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look, there we go. The outlines, yeah, you know, mirroring each other there. Um, yeah, spat. Yeah. Nice, quick, <laughs> and clean lines from Spat. Yeah. Yeah. And dice on what looks from here like a double outline, but no, it could just no. That's it. It's just a single outline. This I would get so confused rocking a piece like dice. I would Respect also, to the man. You know, I'd also feel a certain way about one letter being completely standing out against all the Which others. Which at present it is. Yeah. I have a feeling that might actually change though. You know, he's long trodden in this. I yeah. Think he knows what he's doing. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Is the electrics? Yeah, Guam plasma. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a hallmark move of spats there. Loving I'm it. loving that feel right now. Oh yeah, and his 3D, Yo. some extra effects there. This is where he's really going to go in. Loving it. <laughs> I think we know who's on it. Yeah, <laughs> tip for tap from spat there. Love it. These wow. pieces are looking way go right now. Can't wait to see the final outcome. I love the A as well, Spats. Like a whole different kind of dynamic. Yeah, there. different shapes, different letters. The untrained eye. Okay, borders going up, yeah. effort, extra dustings going the in. Black, wow. Yes. And that is a refining feature of his piece. That's one now what's going to pull it together. You can see how quickly he's moving, though. Yeah. He understands the pressure he's definitely on. It will bring it all together, won't it? Yeah, definitely so. Even with the back there, having it in the background. Definitely so. Brings the whole piece forward, doesn't it? Lovely. But at that angle, it almost looks green. It does, doesn't it? Like oily colour. Go on. That's a bad one. That's a bad one. Again, people, comment below. Tell us what you're thinking uh, and who you think Again, you're tip for tap from Spat there on the black. <laughs> Sorry, sorry to cut across you there, Keller. Not copying, not copying. Oh, no, well influence. Copying. Influence. All the drips, they are going to be ones that potentially count. I guess it wow. only matters when we stand back and see. Don't worry, we'll keep it impartial at the minute. Once we stand back, they may not even count. Oh, not too tight with that outline. <laughs> with Come on, D. Outline. <laughs> yeah, you're doing better on the top line. Old school shines in. Lovely. Some stars Some in there. As well from Spat by this point. Yeah, nice highlights. You can definitely see the heat is on. And now I think we can see a little bit of influence coming over from Spats onto Dice. Yeah, the dustiness. Definitely. Come on. But also, yeah, just the sort of electric fire at the back. Yeah. Wicked stuff. Throwing up them, throwing up them names. And Gotta make uh, sure the crews are in. And we're done. So here are the final pieces. Let's Firstly. Have a look. Go on. Oi, nice. I told you. I told you. Lovely. Ooh. Stretched out. Letter per letter. Fire. Crazy. Lovely. Here's Spats. And then Spat coming with some hallmark moves, some different funk on the letters, hard. and a dope 3D repping 1T hard. Well, we've had our say, now it's your turn. People, you decide A or B. A Spat, B Dice, you decide. Comment below, tell us ASAP who you think should be winning. Jordan, another fine competition. Yes, man, loving it. <laughs> loving their work. Big up, boys, and everyone getting involved. Stay commenting, stay voting. <laughs> Oh my goodness, we are in the presence of absolute greatness from 1984. Long time this gentleman has been uh, serving us with some of the most upfront, current, and beyond graffiti. And uh, oh my goodness, a trailblazer, a, a pioneer in the game. Um, Kem is inside the place. What are we saying, my brother? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Do that, yeah, yeah, I see it broad as brass. That, wow, that's one that's from a couple of weeks ago, to be fair. Just, just a quick question How long does something like that take you to? Kind uh, of, we're talking black books here. How long does that take? I don't even know, you know, fucking ages. Uh, see, I don't get, I don't get, I can't spend like all day on a piece because of you know, family, work, homes, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so I try and do a few hours here and there. But overall, I think I was on that for a couple of weeks. Jeez. And doing bits now and again. A couple of weeks. Wow. What the... What is that? A, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's, Inc from, that's last year, I think. That is. More. More. <laughs> more. More. <laughs> It's a document. It's a very old, very valuable document. You are tuned into B-Boy Documents. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Yo, motherfuckers, yo, for real, I represent niggas something big when he's down, but don't have a fucking cent. You must be crazy if you think you can fuck with the baddest motherfucker on the mic, you better duck quick. I represent the 1637, fuck around if you wet, if you ever pose a fucking threat. Fat joke, you know, for hip hop force, I'm never taking the force. Read about it in the fucking source. And every other hip hop magazine, the rappers get pet when I step on the scene. I heard a nigga down the right to the shit, but he's just jail because his bitches on my dick. You need the chills cause the skills are tight, lead through, and bitches be like a fat joke, I wanna freak you. And they don't stop till the break is on, eat nuts, put it on, baby. Yeah, I'm tying your ass up with a jumper. Just stick my dick in your mouth so I can come on down your fucking throat. See, I'm a rock you with a quick cat. I move your ice to my boots so you can watch me kick your fucking ass. Bitch niggas fetch the back or nuts, or they'll get stuck. And like the side guy turns up in they butt. I bring the noise to toys, act like you hear me, kid. I'm more vicious than 50 bitches on this dirty bitch. When she's upset, I'm like slush. Yo, I fuck your mom in a butt and make your dumb ass bitch take one. I ain't your ordinary nigga, mister. I do Shit like suck my own dick and chop my like my own sister. I'm just wanting money, bro. Man, I'm back to my dad. Stab the bitches in their fucking tummy. She's not a wreck, my sister's struck. Like, alright, I'm more eggs in the airplane. Like, I'm gonna take this to bed. It's the baddest niggas with their ass is the tightest of the little bitches. Yeah, 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 yeah,
is Vixie Ammer on the deck. Johnny. Yeah, man, you're locked into the grimiest mix with Vixie Ammer. Scare and scare em. it's all blast in it, and you're listening to DJ Fixie Ammer.
You are watching Street Culture TV.